In the last section, or the next section here, I'm going to do Mr. Gecko, and I'm going to use a different color scheme for him. I'm, last time I used my red and yellow, and this time I'm going to change, I'm going to get myself a new palette paper here, so as not to confuse things, and I'm going to do um, my green. I'm going to get yellow, and I'm going to get blue, and I'm going to do him with yellow and blue. Okay, and look at how much paint I'm using. I'm really not using a lot, right? I have my Q-tip down here and my yellow um, Q-tip from last time and my blue or my red smears on there. Um, and since this is still wet, I'm just going to slide my palette kind of right there so we can still see it, but it's not too much in the way. And I'll put my squishy thing up there. So here we go. I'm going to start this time with my yellow. You can use the same Q-tip from last time just because. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to dot around the perimeter of my gecko with my yellow. And looks like in his arms I might not have quite enough room to do anything else afterwards. And actually, I'm going to get a new Q-tip because that one's not working for me. It's kind of sloppy. So we're going to get a new Q-tip here. There we go, much better. If you do end up getting a pretty sloppy Q-tip after a while, show it to me and you may get a new one if I tell you you may. Okay, because I am seeing that these are not the best tools in the world to work with, but they will definitely do the trick. If you're not smushing them down too hard. And remember you need to be going and filling your Q-tip up often so that you don't run out. Okay, got my first perimeter done. Now I'm going to take my yellow. I'm going to mix a little teensy bit of blue in it to make my green. Okay. And I want to get more here. So that I have enough. And mix it together. Okay, so I got myself a nice green there. Okay, and now I'm going to start in on my second layer here. Now I'm going to have to add a little more and make some more green. Okay, now I'm going to get into my next color, blue. I'm going to kind of squish off most of my paint here so I don't get myself dirty. Get my blue on the tip.
Now I'm going to go back. Just going to make sure I get all this extra blue off here. I'm going to go back to my yellow since I've got some pure yellow left on here. I'm going to put my pure yellow right in the middle because I got that extra space left. And that will conclude our gecko. When you're done working today and you're done with all your colors, take your squished paper towel here and throw it out in the garbage. Take your Q-tip, throw it out in the garbage. And of course your palette paper gets slid right off into the garbage over there so that we don't squish it together. Remember, squishing your palette paper together is spending recess with me tomorrow or uh, this afternoon, depending on when you have recess. So make sure that you're cleaning up nicely. All of your materials should go away and your artwork should go into the drying rack.